What are the current problems of the Brazilian healthcare system? The major problem of healthcare in Brazil is access. So, 80% um, of the population rely on the public system, and the public system is not ready to give access to almost 150 million pe people in a proper way. So, on average, we see different data, but people can take almost 200 days to get an appointment with uh, a doctor. So that's the appointment. Then this person will probably need to do exams and return to the doctor with the results of the exams to get a proper diagnosis. So the whole process might take more than a year. And depending on the city, on the state, but it is a le very lengthy process. So that basically is access. What are your uh, current uh, projects in the field of impact investing? Okay, we, we, we started up a company, it's called Doctor Consulta, that was uh, idealized to give proper access to these 100 million people in Brazil uh, to basic healthcare. Uh, so we develop a model that is, um, it has high quality, it is easy to access and fast to access and it's um, resolutive, it, it's directed towards solving the problem of the patient fast with quality and with dignity. So Dr. Consulta is about uh, serving part of those 150 million people that rely on the public system. So we offer um, 20 different uh, types of uh, doctors. 20, uh, we offer 20 different types of specialities, exams, and small procedures. So on average, a patient in Dr. Consulta will take 15 days from the first appointment, then through the exams, then to the second appointment to get a diagnosis. So that's, um, that compares to almost a year in the public system. So that's the value proposition, that's the solution we came up. And that is done with dignity, with uh, easy to access. So if you call Dr. Consulta today, you will get almost any kind of appointment in up to five days, up to the next five days. Um, and it's gonna cost um, 30 to 35 dollars. So, and that can be paid in two installments. So that is very affordable when you talk about class classes, the base of the pyramid in Brazil. Okay. What are the difficulties you're facing with uh, the projects you have in impact investing? Oh, difficulties. We love difficulties because uh, we are about to solve big problems. That's, uh, that's the whole spirit of uh, an impact investment. So there's a huge problem in Brazil. Uh, there are plenty of difficulties, but that's what, uh, that was what challenges us to, to make it happen. Um, I would say one big difficulty is credit. So the person, he gets into doctor consulta, he gets a, a diagnostic, and eventually he will need uh, higher complexity care. Here we need, for example, a knee surgery. So how can a person like that assess knee surgery? We have to give that solution. And we still haven't, we are working on that, but uh, so people don't have credit for healthcare. They have just credit to buy a TV or but not for healthcare. Um, I would say that a second and important uh, would be infrastructure. So we are in the outskirts of Sao Paulo. We are in the, in the neighborhood close to those communities. And several times, I mean, we invest a lot in technology. We rely on, 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 on technology, on, on web systems to run our business model. And sometimes we have difficulty accessing a proper internet connection. Uh, we have, even with electricity. So I would say that infrastructure 
in those regions, is in those areas, is a, is a major problem we face today.